My friends, welcome to this tutorial about creating games with Solaris. Today we will continue the topic about custom entities. These map entities that have absolutely no built-in behavior, except the very common things like they can have a sprite, they can have a movement, but everything is decided by your Lua scripts. So, as a first example, last time we created a very simple flame, so a fire entity that has really no effect. It just displays a sprite and it disappears. It is destroyed when the animation of the sprite is finished. And that happens when you use the lantern. So let's see that script again. Here we create the custom entity with the fire sprite. And we remove the fire entity that we created. We remove it when the sprite animation is finished. Okay, so, but it has really no other behavior yet. <laughs> so we'll try to improve this in this tutorial. Let's try to add an enemy and we'll see how we can make the enemy uh, react to the fire entity. Because so far, nothing happens. Here there was a collision. Here there was also a collision between the fire and the enemy, but nothing happened because we didn't define any particular collision for our fire entity. So how do we do that? We can see the documentation. There is a function add collision test on the on the custom entity type. So we can add on our fire a collision test. Uh, which is a function that will be called back when the collision happens. And you can define what kind of collision. So that's the first parameter, collision mode. It can be overlapping, and that means uh, if the rectangle of your fire overlaps the rectangle of, the, of any other entity, then this collision mode, mode will be triggered. And you have a bunch of possible collision modes to um, handle var various situations. You can even have your own custom collision tests, but uh, we will not use this today. Uh, usually you use overlapping or sprite, and sprite are for pixel precise collision tests. So they are a bit more uh, performance costly, of course, but um, when, you, when it comes to collision between enemies, and uh, yeah, basically everything that touches enemies, usually you want to be pixel perfect. So here we will use the sprite collision to detect really uh, precisely the collision between pixels of the fire and pixels of the enemy. So, okay, let's see how we can do that. Fire, add collision test. The first parameter is the type of collision, so we just decided to use a sprite collision test to be pixel perfect. So of course this, is, this only makes sense for entities that have a sprite. And your callback function, it will take um, two parameters. The first one is your entity, so we can call it fire. In our case it's, it's okay if we give them the same name, the same name. And this one will just hide this one, but actually they are the same anyway. And the other entity we will call it other, because um, remember that this function will be called when your fire sprite is in collision with any other sprite, not only the sprites of enemies, but of any entities, even um, the hero, even this vase here, even this door, this chest. So the first thing you want to do is to test the type of other. So if other is, if other gets type, so there is a, you can see the documentation, but there is a get type function on entities. So if the other is of type enemy, then we can decide to uh, hurt the enemy. So we can call other hurt and this function hurt takes the number of life points that you want to remove, let's say two life points.
and we can already test this okay he was hurt nice and it worked cool so that's how you can define a simple collision test and of course nothing happens when you when your fire is in collision with other entities like these bushes or with the hero and so on so again add collision test the first parameter is what kind of collision you want to detect and the second parameter is the function that will be called when the collision is detected by the engine and the first parameter is your entity, your custom entity. The second one is the entity that was detected to have a collision with your entity. Actually, when the collision mode is of type sprite, the documentation explains that there is also um, a third and a fourth parameters, and they are the sprite of your custom entity and then the sprite of the other entity. But this is really only useful for entities that have multiple sprites and when you want to distinguish, for example, you make a complicated boss that has multiple sprites and some of them might be, um, might, might be sensible to, to fire and some of them can just ignore the fire. But we, are not, we don't need that here because our fire only has one sprite and uh, enemies for now we consider only oops only one sprite as well in this example um, okay so the last thing that we probably want to check is um, I mean usually enemies can customize their reaction to every attack using the the function, um, let me show you the documentation of enemies using set attack consequence. So here enemies can say that they, are, uh, that they lose that number of life points when they are touched by the sword, that number of life, life points when, when they are touched by the thrown items, item and so on. And for now, we just decided here that all enemies get the same damage from fire, which is two life points, but probably we want to change that. And how do we do so? Um, so we have various kinds of built-in attacks here, including one that is called fire, but that ac that's actually not our custom fire. This is the built-in fire that we decided not to use because it's not recommended anymore in new projects um, just simply because it's not customizable enough so arrow, hookshot, boomerang, fire they are really uh, legacy entities that I would not recommend to use but still the engine, the engine supports uh, custom damage for, from these built-in attacks so how do we how can we do the same for uh, our custom um, fire entity here? Well, we can ideally we would have a function on the type enemy that could be called, for instance, get fire reaction, and that would return the number of life points that this particular enemy uh, should lose when touched by fire. So, how do we add? this function because it does not exist how do we add this on all enemies well 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 if you remember the tutorial about meta tables this is the place the right occasion to use meta tables so we can go to our scripts meta enemy script here and here we can uh, probably add this function get fire reaction on all enemies get fire reaction so let's get the enemy or we could just work on the self variable if we want and there will be a field called 
enemy called fire reaction so we, we will just just return enemy uh, dot fire reaction and by default if this is not defined let's return some default value for instance two life points we can do the, it that way if this is never defined then it this is null um, nil in lua and uh, the, sec the, the second expression here will be returned instead so get fire reaction and how do we change it well we also want a function set fire reaction that will take the number of life points as a parameter and this is where we set the our field fire reaction okay and now all enemies can decide to change their own fire reaction so maybe this one will lose I don't know let's say only one point instead of two when touched by fire set fire reaction one so this is a function defined in pure Lua and not in the Solaris API okay so it it was hurt three times and um, yeah he, his initial life was three so this did work and if I try it on another enemy this one has two life points or maybe not this one oh okay it also had three life points um, yeah so I, I it had three life points so I had to to hit him twice with fire so it works because we we didn't define anything from for this one um, global so it uses the default default value here so that's one way um, you can define some custom damage for a weapon that is not um, built in in the engine and you can do um, more complicated things you can customize these um, depending on sprites if your entities enemies have multiple sprites and you can check um, in our projects how you how to do that but um, basically it's by adding the the sprite parameters to your callback here and um, yeah something you can also do is to support other type of reactions than life points because in set attack consequence um, you can set some life points but also some special actions like nothing happens protected immobilized or even something custom but for this tutorial I wanted to keep it simple um, especially because the focus is, is more about custom entities and um, how to add a collision test on, on a custom entity more than um, complicated uh, enemy mechanics um, okay so I hope this was useful don't hesitate to add a lot of collision tests don't forget to check the type of the other parameter otherwise you will try to hurt uh, a ton of type of entities and not only enemies and um, next time we will we'll continue on this example and we'll create another uh, custom entity to make our fire um, more useful thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you next time bye